Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the some concepts of integer arithmetic and modular arithmetic. First of all, we will study about set of integers. The set of integer is denoted by capital Z and it contains all integral numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. So here you can see this set of integers, capital Z. Next is integer division. In integer arithmetic, if we divide a by n, then we will get quotient q and remainder r. The relationship between these four integers can be shown by this equation. a is equal to q into n plus r. Here a is called dividend and n is called divisor. When we use this division relationship in cryptography, we impose two restrictions. First one is the divisor must be a positive integer. It means the value of n should be greater than zero. Second is the remainder must be a non-negative integer. It means the value of r should be greater than or equal to 0. If dividend a is not 0 and we get remainder r equal to 0 in the division, then we can say a is divisible by n or we can say that n divides a. Now next topic, now the next topic is set of residues. We know that the result of a mod n is always a non-negative integer less than n. That is an integer between 0 and n minus 1. The modulo operation with modulus n creates a set which in modular arithmetic is referred to as the set of least residues modulo n or Zn. So the Zn, Zn consists of uh, those integers which are the results of mod n operation. And we know that the result of mod n operation is always an integer between 0 and n minus 1. Therefore, this set Zn consists of all integers between 0 and n minus 1 because this set Zn uh, consists of all integers which are results of mod n operation. For example, you can see this set Z6. Right? This Z6 consists of all integers between 0 and 5. That is, it consists of uh, integers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, next is additive inverse. In set Zn, A and B are additive inverses of each other if A plus B is congruent to 0 mod n. In Zn, in set Zn, the additive inverse of A can be calculated as B, which is equal to n minus A. For example, in Z10, the additive inverse of 4 is 10 minus 4, that is 6. So, in modular arithmetic, each integer has an additive inverse. The sum of an integer and its additive inverse is concurrent to 0 modulo n. Next topic is multiplicative inverse. In Zn, two numbers a and b are multiplicative inverse of each other if a into b is concurrent to 1 mod n. For example, in set Z10, the multiplicative inverse of 3 is 7 because we have 3 into 7 mod 10 is equal to 1. In modular arithmetic, an integer may or may not have a multiplicative inverse. Integer A has a multiplicative inverse in set Zn if and only if A and N are relatively prime. For example, there is no multiplicative inverse of 8 in Z10 because 8 and 10 are not relatively prime. Now, the subset of set Zn, which includes only those integers of Zn that have unique multiplicative inverse, is called Zn star. So, see this set Z10. This set Z10 consists of all integers between 0 and 9. And Z10 star, it consists of only the integers 1, 3, 7 and 9. Because only these integers in set Z10 have multiplicative inverse. Now, another uh, concept is ZP. We studied about Zn. So, when in Zn, n is a prime, then we can write it as like this, Zp, right? So, it, this P specifies that it is a prime, right? So, modulus of this set is a prime number. So, Zp is same as Zn, except that P is a prime number. 
so similar to zn uh, zp it consists of all integers between 0 and p minus 1 so as i told you like uh, zn zp contains all integers from 0 to p minus 1 now the integers 1 2 3 4 so on up to p minus 1 they all are relatively prime to p right because p is a prime number therefore these all integers 1 2 3 so on up to p minus 1 they all have multiplicative inverse so it said p star it contains all integers from 1 to p minus 1 for example see z13 right so z13 this set consists of all integers from 0 to 12 it consists of all integers between 0 and 12 now 13 is a prime number right therefore all the integers from 1 to 12 they all integers are relatively prime to 13 therefore set z 13 star it will consist of uh, integers 1 2 3 4 5 so on up to 12 